Today we're working on the ATSFAB and we're going to get right into mathematical reasoning. The first problem we're going to do it states what is the estimated product when 157 and 817 are rounded to the nearest hundred and multiplied. So what you want to do is you want to take the two numbers, 157 and 817 and you're going to round it to the nearest hundred so you go to the second number that's next to the number in the hundreds place and in this situation you have a 100 and then a 57 so because this is a 5 and all numbers 5 and above uh, mean that you round the number in the hundreds place to the next number which would be 2 in this situation so we're going to round up to 200, and then for 817, you go to the tens place, and because it's a 1, you're going to leave it an 8, because 1 through 4, you don't, you don't round up. So this is going to be 800. So now we rounded both numbers, so they want us to find the product, which means multiplication. So after you round the two numbers, you can multiply them. And the easiest way to do this when there are zeros is to just multiply the two numbers, the eight times the two, which would be 16, and then add the zeros next to them underneath for the answer. So that way you don't have to do the long multiplication, but we can do the long multiplication as well. So basically what I did again is I did eight times two is 16, and then just added on the four zeros. And that gives me 160,000. Now let's just do the long division, or excuse me, multiplication. So we're gonna have zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Zero, 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 and then eight times two is 16. And you can see we have the same number, so this is correct. And so that's how you would round and then find the product for a number. You wanna make sure you know that product means multiply, quotient means divide, and then you have a sum for addition and then the difference is for subtraction. So that's all.